Hello, this is Kevin with uh, Sunset Ranch out here in Atchabaya, Brazil. And it's 5.30 in the morning. And this is just showing you my regular routine. Uh, the horses are, we've been fed grain for this morning. Now I'm going to put them out. And I have a cat following me, midnight. And she likes to play around and tangle up in my feet and sometimes likes to trip me. So maybe you'll get an opportunity to see me fall. Who knows? Okay, so I have a particular order that I put these horses out because it just is much more calming. And uh, they don't start out uh, horsing around, as we say. So this is our border, Bob. Bob, can you say hi to everybody? Okay, Bob's our, my first one that goes out. He's he's the calmest of all our horses, and he's our boarder. Imagine that. So I am trying to unlock this gate. And not having good luck. There. Okay. Here we go. Midnight. You're in my way. Okay. So, Bob, come on out. The gate is open for him, so let's see if I can get him to come out. Come on, Bob. Come on. I know midnight scared you. There you go. Good job, Bob. So, I usually go back and close his gate so the other horses don't go in his stall. And just cause havoc with everything else. Alright, the next horse I love is Montenegro. My wife's horse. Okay, Montenegro, let's go. So he's pretty good. He'll come right out. There he goes. And then my next horse is Piata. What do you think, Piata? This is my uh, horse that understands English very well in response to my inquiries if he wants to get fed or not. Okay. To throw a little light on the situation so I can see what I'm doing. I have to put a twist wire on this lock of his because if I don't, he unlocks everything else. Unless I actually put a physical lock on it. And I don't want to put a lock on my gates. Because I want to be able to get easy access and get them out if I need to, if I don't have my keys. So, and this is Bo. He's our two-year-old stallion, the one we rescued about over a year ago. Come on, Bo. He's a beautiful guy. Very beautiful. Handsome devil. Okay, right, come on, guys. Let's go. Out, out. Come on, Piata. Out. Come on, out, out, out. <coughs> okay, the next one will be the mare. And I call her mom. She's pregnant again. She's going to have another foal this spring sometime. I'm hoping September, October. In that time range. Come on, boat. Oh, go, go. Okay, this is our young little filly. She's just a little over a year old. Her name is Cheyenne. Come on, Cheyenne. I've been halter training her. That's why she has a halter on her. And she's not used to the flashlight on the video. So, yeah, she's a little spooked. Come on. There you go. There we go. Come on, let's go. So, so I basically grab her every morning, every night by her halter and just lead her out. She's accustomed to it. She understands who has the authority. <laughs> but she's a sweetheart. She's a very good girl. Okay, and the last but not least is Almanac. Almanac is my gentle giant. He's a gelding. And... He's well over 17 hands high, tall. Come on. I actually haven't measured him, so I probably should take the time and do that. 
Come on, Almanac. Come on. Come on. Come on, Almanac. Let's go. He likes to take his time. Uh, he likes to take his time. Okay, come on. Let's go. No, wrong direction. The other way. I know you want to harass the stallions. Come on, let's go. There you go. So, that's my routine, getting them out uh, in the morning. I have a specific uh, order that they go out. I find that this order is the best order to get them all out without uh, too much aggression going on or fighting or biting and horsing around. Um, so, I thought I'd share that all with you. So, I'll see you all later. Talk to you later. Bye.